All right, in this little segment, uh, I'm gonna be doing Kony rear shock absorbers on my 2013 Fiat 500 Sport. Same procedure on all the bar, turbo, pop, everything. So on the factory shock absorber you see here, these are about 20,000 miles old. Um, you can see there's an upper bolt and a lower bolt. It is pretty much exactly as simple as it looks. Um, the reason to upgrade to Kony is mainly because when you lower a car, these are H&Rs, you tend to get a really bouncy ride. Um, even with factory springs, um, I would recommend still doing the Kony upgrade. Um, the cars are kind of oversprung and underdamped. The shocks just aren't quite up to the task of um, damping. So, the step I'm going to take here next is get these wheels and tires off the back. Um, it's a 17 mil lug bolt, unless you've got something really crazy aftermarket. So to zip those off and then uh, we'll come back and start doing the shocks. So now with your wheel and tire off, you can get perfect access to that 15 millimeter upper. And these are E18 e torques. however a 14 millimeter six point socket fits right on. So if you don't have that incredibly uncommon tool, a 14 will do just fine. Just be careful, you don't want to strip it out. But uh, yep, zip those out. On the lowers, they'll pull all the way out. This is a captured nut welded to the subframe. Sorry, the uh, axle. And the upper one is just a bolt that'll pull straight out. So once you've got those out, just set them on the ground and I'll, uh, I'll show you the conies I got in my box here. Okay, so the shocks are completely taken out. Um, just let the subframe, sorry, I keep calling it the subframe. Just let the beam axle drop like this. The springs, even lowering springs, should stay on the bump stop, so you should be fine there. Um, I guess here is more of a side-by-side. -side. The black one is obviously the factory shock. Um, there's already some bushing separation on the bottom here. These have, I forget, this car's got 15 or 20,000 miles on it. Um, the Kony, much more solid welds. Um, it's also got a solid bushing. Uh, this does on the end, but not on the top. This is solid on both sides. All metal construction. It's got a lot better uh, damper valving. So it's an all-around better shock, I think. It's also a little bit shorter overall for lowered vehicles. Again, you can run these on non-lowered 500s as well, um, but I'm not sure why you wouldn't lower your 500. So, Next step is just going to pop these in. I'm going to do the lowers first on both sides, and then since I work alone here. I'm actually going to use a hydraulic um, shop jack to lift the beam axle up and I will do the uppers. So I'll kind of walk through as much of that as I possibly can on video, but you get the idea. Okay, so if you're doing this on a driveway of jack stands, um, think of this as a hydraulic floor jack. Just really slowly um, jack it up with the lower bolt in but not tightened. And you will eventually get it up to the point where you can thread this upper bolt in as well. Once they're hand threaded, um, before you decompress it, tighten them down because ideally it puts a lot less stress on the bushing if you tighten it down when the suspension's near its compressed geometry. If I were to let it down and tighten it at the bottom, you'd get a lot more bushing wear. You'd see a lot, you know, you'd see, it'd be premature wear. Um, you might only get 10 or 15,000 miles out of a set of shock bushings if it's constantly twisting like that. Whereas these will be, when the car is sitting down, at its tightened location at all times. So um, right now I'm probably actually going to jack it up a little bit more, torque them down, take the jack out of here, and then just kind of do everything back up. It's a pretty simple install. Um, they fit really nicely as they should and I'm um, hoping that they uh, make the ride a little bit better for at least backseat passengers. So um, yeah, I'll kind of come back with impressions and let you guys know what I think. Um, but it seems like, for the most part, these are pretty well-liked shocks, so I don't anticipate any surprises. Thanks for watching.